Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, I grabbed this mower at a yard sale about two weeks ago, three weeks ago now, and we're just getting time to go play with it. I haven't done anything with it other than uh, throw it in the back of the truck from when I picked it up. So we are going to, oh, look at that. You know, little earphones stuck on there. We're gonna go through it. The owner said it was not performing very well. So I'm not quite sure what that means. I think he was in reference to it just wasn't cutting the grass nicely. So let's go see what is happening with it and see if we can bring it back to life. One thing that was weird is that the guy still had the box with it, which is um, a first for me. So it does have some kind of information on it. Some things I do find it's kind of weird is that right there. I guess, I don't know if that's something new they want to go try that you never change the oil, you just add the oil. That's kind of uh, funky. I don't know if they run into a lot of problems where people just maybe overfill them and cause damage. And they think that maybe they just get longer life out of it that way. But we're going to see what we can do maybe to get around that and actually change the oil in it. And see what they changed to uh, have this um, be like it is. You know, what they modified on the motor. Got rid of the drain plug, I would guess. So let's get set up and uh, take a peek and see what we have. It's even got, I believe, the owner's manuals in here too. So that's a first too. Usually that stuff does not come with it. And I guess a little discharge chute. I think it was 30 bucks I paid for. I think they were asking 40 off for 30. And the deal. It actually does not look terrible. I'm surprised. But then again, it may not have that much, that much hours on. So that part looks normal as far as the dipstick and everything. Let's get rid of the bag. My newfound earphones. Go use an extra set of those laying around. Put it by one of the grinders. And let's go spin you around to the other side. Let's go pop that air cleaner off of there. Ooh, that yeah, looks like it's seen some nasties. I noticed on the other side, it stated, and that's wet inside there. It shouldn't be. It's gas, kind of foul gas. It showed that you can kind of tip it either direction. And I usually like to tip it so the carburetor is up and the exhaust is down. So a lot of times there is a crankcase breather coming from the crankcase and I usually push it to the air cleaner. If you flip it up on that side, it has a tendency to want to put oil up inside the air cleaner and that may be what this is, the issue with this right now. So we're gonna get a block, we're gonna go flip it up and we'll see what the deck side of it looks like. I grabbed the jack stand, let's see if we go flip it up on its side. You don't need the jack stand, the handle will be able to hold it. I see what's wrong with it already. Let me put a new blade on it, newer blade on it. You see what the issue is? How about now? How about now? <laughs> That's the cutting edge. That's the mulching edge. The cutting edge is supposed to be where the mulching edge is and the mulching edge is supposed to be where the cutting edge is. The blade is on upside down. That would do it. That would make it so it just tears your grass out because you're trying to cut with the blunt end and tear with it. So that's the first part that we noticed that is uh, being an issue. Uh, drain plug is no longer. I don't see like they capped it off or anything. They just, it's not in the casting at all. I, for the most part, really don't use them anyway. I generally tip the mower on its side and I drain it out through where the dipstick hole is just for um, ease. Seems to work pretty good too. So we'll still be able to change the oil in it, I believe. But that, that's your problem. <laughs> you know, you never know what you find when you bring something home from a yard sale. But I'm glad to find that because then it makes, um, Finding what our issues is much easier. Let's go get an impact gun, get that blade off. We'll get that flipped over and uh, continue on with the rest of servicing it. Then we'll, uh, at some point, probably gonna bring it back to my house and we'll go cut some grass with it, see how it does. Let's see if we buzz that off of there. And I 
It's got a universal mount on it. See where it's... <laughs> that was going to show up. It says grass side. <laughs> Instead, that's been doing all the work cutting. All right. I'm sure there's probably been plenty of machine. I've run into that before too. Yeah, man. That's better. Let's see if we can get that oil out of it. Yeah, I'm not all that crazy about that. The new idea of not changing oil out of it. Just seems like a very odd thing to try and do. Let that run for a few minutes. Maybe what we'll do while that's draining out, we'll pop that air cleaner off. I'd like to get to the bottom of the float bowl, at least pull the float bowl off and inspect uh, how dirty the carb is. Let's go get into that. Let's get that off of there. Of course, they're two different sizes. Why wouldn't they be? <laughs> that breather I was talking about. So this comes from the crankcase and any uh, blow by uh, will feed its way into there. We have one, two screws to get under here. I'm probably gonna have to grab those with a quarter inch ratchet. Before I open it up, I'm gonna take an air gun and blow some of the crap out that is uh, stuck inside here. There's a bunch of debris. Noise alert. Probably should have hit it with the pressure washer first, but oh well. I'm gonna trade sides with you. Yeah, I don't have a mower at home, believe it or not. I generally kind of give them away as fall approaches, just so I don't hold on to them over the winter time. At the time, it was due to lack of space to, to hold them. I'm able to find them fairly easy, just like this one. You know, there's, I, in our area, you, if you hit the more well-to-do towns, a lot of times they end up at the, the curb with a free sign on them because they left gas in them and they won't run the next year. Or maybe they put the blade on backwards and uh, it doesn't cut well. And this guy said he had a service coming. He decided to have a, a mower service to take care of it. So they're, they're fairly easy to come by. around here. Man. I would guess that this mower is I don't know, 10 years old. Let's see if we can get that bowl off of there. Am I missing one? I'm going to take a quick mirror. It's all plastic carburetor, so I'm trying to take it easy on it so I don't smush nothing. Now, the only thing I see is a uh, Allen head drain on the bottom of the bowl. I don't think that's holding it on. Let's give it a... We're in. I'm going to... Back you up. Let me take a quick peek on the bench. We'll see what we got. Let's go dump that in a white cup and see if it's pretty yellow. And a little bit of dirt, but not not anything to be that concerned about. I would guess the one thing that's good about the plastic bowls is that when they corrode, they don't start rotting the bowl and putting debris in it. I am not going to pull that carb 
It actually looks fairly clean, I'll show you. Looks pretty clean inside, so I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it alone. I'll uh, regret that later, but <laughs> for now we're going to run with what we run. It's looking fairly clean, other than the, the old fuel that's in it. I will give it a quick shot with the air gun. I'm just going to hold the float. Which way was it? That way? Or the other way? You guys gotta move so I can see. Actually, the needle you know, falling out, the pin was falling out. But it looked pretty good. Looks pretty clean. I'm gonna do my best to whittle that back in there without pulling that carb off, but <laughs> it may be just faster just to pop it off of there. We'll see. It looks like it only goes one way. You can see where that, the bottom of the jet protrudes and I believe that just falls into that little cavity. So it's only going to be able to go on that direction. Is it like that? Or was it like that? Yeah, let's go pop the air cleaner base back on. Let's get that leader hose on there. If it was really dirty, I would have gone through the effort, the extra effort to those screws there. I would figure the ones that have metal threads would go where the metal goes. And I would think the ones with the plastic would go where the plastic goes. And we'll tighten up whichever one is on the socket first. The air cleaner filter, we're gonna have to get one of those, but for now, we're probably just gonna blow out the one I got and we'll just run with it. I think the oil is pretty much done with whatever it's gonna do. We can go and, uh, not paying attention to what I'm doing. Flip that, get whatever we can last out of it and we'll fill that back up. Well, the one thing I guess, you know, for the not being able to change the oil, but the only thing I found is people overfilling them, not so much not changing them. Yeah, it's pretty cruddy. I had one more I bought smoking like a bastard. And when I brought it home and looked at it, the dipstick was, you know, they filled it. They filled it. <laughs> filled it to the top. This didn't say in a dipstick what it used for oil. Generally, it's like a 1030 or a straight 30. 1030 is what it takes. But a couple of things. They show pictures. It doesn't say anything about it, but it just gives you an illustration on the motor, what to go do. And they have you changing oil by tilting the mower back. I tilted it to the side. Essentially, you want to get to this corner and have it purge off. The handle, I guess, would be a little bit in the way to try to do what they want you to do here. And also, the air filter is missing the foam that goes around it. So somebody was in there. Like I said, they probably flipped it up on the carburetor side, got oil soaked into all this, threw that away, just put the air cleaner back on it and went with it. So, let's go pop that plug out of there. Damn. All right, let me weld it on there. Got to stand a little too close. Wrong plug. Let's try that again. change the oil just don't understand is that supposed to be a selling point just like for the business we look out she's a uh, fuel soaked yeah. <laughs> I 
a little fuel soaked. So hopefully that needle and seat is working. I have a feeling that it's already like that, but we're going to go find out when we go to fire it up. I'm going to go clean that up in a sandblaster and we'll put it back in. And that's a little better. After we hit it with the sandblaster, I, I go back with an air gun. I kind of blow out around it because you don't want any of that abrasive in there. And that will definitely chop up your top end. Scratch up the top end, I should say. As I'm sitting here looking at it, just noticed right now. So you had a problem with it cutting. Not cutting well. And I'm looking at this lever and this lever are not in the same place. That one is two from the top, one from the top, one from the top, and that one is two. So they are not on the same playing field. Now they are. Now the level. Let's go check the rear. What are we? Are we in the middle right now? Yeah, so we're in the middle rung. In the back. Yeah, we're fine. We're in the middle on both sides. So one wheel is kitty wampus. I don't know, maybe he was trying to compensate for the way it was cutting it. He tried kicking it on an angle. So the next thing I do see is some nesting material. So uh, it's not uncommon to have mice in our area. Let's take a second, pop that shroud off the top of it. And see if we can get any debris out of here. It's an air-cooled engine. Air sucks in from the top, exits out the bottom. Well, if it gets clogged up, it will overheat and uh, end its demise fairly quickly. I think an air gun will blow out those holes, see what it has for screws. Get that one, that one. I don't know if this is just sitting on there or if we need to take this off first. So the camera shut off on the last clip while I was taking that cover off and it said memory card error. Unfortunately, fortunately, I didn't lose the rest of them, but that last clip was gone. It didn't miss too much. I just popped that plastic off. There was some debris in there. Not terrible. You can kind of see I'm still poking, pulling some material out. But I don't think it's mouse nest. I, I just think it's debris from running it and where it got sucked in. But I'm going to go bring it over by the door. I'm going to blow it off with the air gun and possibly fire it up and hit it with the pressure washer and give it a little bit of a bath. See the oil bubbling up out of it. That's what happened to it. And let's put some of the good stuff in it. That good stuff looks like pre-mix. If you get a little bit of smoke, that's why. We'll call that good. Won't hurt it. I wouldn't run a long time on that because that'll carbon up the uh, the exhaust. But push for a period of time, it shouldn't bother it. Let's back you up and see if she'll fire up. Might be a good idea to move that air hose. blowing a little bit of smoke you can see it that may be just from oil either got over who knows you can see it pissing out and there was a big dirt stain there before so whatever it was was doing that earlier i'm going to go grab a clamp for the handlebars fire it up and let it run just let it run for a little while yeah the other thing too is if you just if you just overfilled the oil it would cause all those same issues too
I'll let that run for about 10 minutes. That's fine, it's been about 10 or 15 minutes. I don't see any issues with it, it doesn't smoke. Just when I first started it, it was bubbling out a little bit of uh, crud out of the muffler. It seems fine. I say we go put the covers back on it and uh, throw it in crusty. We can bring it home and cut a little bit of grass. One thing I forgot to do, I hit the blade off. I don't suspect it's gonna be an issue because usually the motor will vibrate real bad. So I just wanna check real fast for Now when the, the blade comes around, I'm just going to put my finger here to plug wires off. And I'm going to just spin it and make sure that blade is on the same plateau. Which it is. Just looking for either a bent blade or a bent crankshaft. I don't see that being an issue with either one of them. Now you got to undo that pull start. The handle has to go through that cover. Sometimes there's a slot cut in them. You don't have to do it, but you need to get that fish through the cover first. There we go. And I think it just snaps on in the front. Like that. And then just two screws in the rear. Put our pull start back on. There we go. Now I say we go find some poor underprivileged grass that needs some cutting. You guys thought I was going to pick that up and put it on the floor, didn't you? Homeward bound she goes. Crash. Might want to tie that down. And back on. So I have a rider, but the rider doesn't get into the little nooks and crannies that well. So it's always good to have a push mower to get into, you know, the little different spots. And it's nice to have a rear bagger instead of a side bagger, just because of that same reason you get close on each side. So let's go fire her up. Seems to cut nice and level. I think she'll be just fine. 30 bucks, about an hour's worth of work. And uh, I have a nice machine. So let's get an air filter for it. But other than that, she's good to go. So I want to thank all you for hanging out with me and uh, doing a bit of wrenching on some cheap junk and uh, bringing them back to life. So until the next one, I'll see you later. And make sure you put your blade right side up. It cuts much better that way.
wrong way. Go find a spot. And my future exhaust system. It's got a cool look to it.